Real Estate Minute starts now. Hello everyone and welcome to the Real Estate Minute. I'm your host Ivan Estrada with Keller Williams and here we are at Koreatown, a town that's growing very quickly with tons of renovations and tons of construction. So the Real Estate Minute is going to work this way. There are three segments, one minute each, three minutes total. Let the Real Estate Minute begin. So RadPad might be telling us something that we already know. Well, rent prices are increasing and so are home prices. LA is said to be the second most expensive city to live in in all of California. There are neighborhoods that change in price from just going a couple blocks to maybe even just one block. Now here's an example using a one bedroom medium price in all cities of LA. Now, let's say you love Beverly Hills. Well, it's super expensive. Instead of living in Beverly Hills, why not live in West Hollywood? Well, West Hollywood's also very expensive. Instead of living in West Hollywood, why not move to Miracle Mile? Miracle Mile has tons of museums, great restaurants and shops, and is also close to transportation. Now, another great city to live in is Santa Monica. Super expensive. Instead of Santa Monica, why not live in Mar Vista? Mar Vista, very great, great location, great people, and a lot cheaper than Santa Monica. And also downtown. Downtown is also going up in price dramatically. Instead of downtown, why not choose Koreatown? It's one of those up and coming areas with lots of construction, lots of one bedroom lofts, and lots and lots of opportunity. Dolly Parton bought this home back in April of 2007 for the price of a million two and was set to be the childhood home of Natalie Wood. Now the home itself is very cozy, two bedroom, two bath, 1,091 square feet and was built in 1927. Very small bungalow to say the least. There's a one car garage that was transformed into a one bedroom guest suite. Now the home is very country from top to bottom, from bottom to top. Now it's not everyone's taste, but here are a couple more photos of this very country home. Ticket for one, please. So the graying of America is here. From kitchen countertops, to living room carpets, to bathroom tiles, to the draperies in your master bedroom. Well, gray is here and it's here to stay. So the trend of gray has begun and there's no way of stopping it. The white on white is no longer the in thing, but it's the gray. It's making homes actually sell much quicker. Actually, gray is the color that people choose when they feel confident, Things are moving quickly and they feel confident about the future. Wow, that's pretty interesting, right? So these are a couple examples that you can do that would be on a budget. How about a gray couch? It could be as simple as that or just adding a gray accent wall. Or if you wanna be a little bit more minimalistic, how about changing the pillow shades or the lamp shades in your living room? So here are some great examples from the very minimalistic gray to the very extreme. Thanks again for watching this month's Real Estate Minute. Again, I'm your host, Ivan Estrada with Keller Williams. Checking out from Koreatown, here are this month's deals. 